Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Uh, today, we are talking about the Alpha Core, and let's get our theory crafting hats on. Because I'm a little interested in these ones. And I have, I, I have a very different theory as to who they are and kind of what their role is just based off of their look. Because that's really all we have to go off of. And also, you know, kind of talking about their power sets and all that. So let's get into the Alpha Core. All right, as we can see, we have at least three members of the Alpha Core, right? Uh, being this guy over here <clears throat> with a helmet on the left. Uh, dude bro here that looks <laughs> like he needs to back off on the roids. And then his main piece right here, <laughs> uh, hanging on his shoulder, but she looks like she could whoop some ass too. So just a quick rundown here. The um, the guy in the center, uh, Roid Man here, and and you know Lady Roid Man, their suits are very much in the same vein of each other. Very, you know the capes, uh, stylistically they are the same. I would venture to say that they are probably. They're probably involved. That would just be my guess, especially, you know, her her arm is around him. And so my, the, the, that's just, you know, artistically something that people could use to denote that. Oh, hey, these, uh, you know, this is. Uh, uh, they, they, these two people are involved. Now, this guy over here, very simple. I mean, it looks like he's wearing a I mean, really, the only like suit thing that he has here is the helmet everything else i mean it looks like he's got just like a basic jacket on some basic pants and a black friggin t-shirt uh, and then obviously some gloves um i would say my guess based off of how they look being called the alpha core i literally like my first thought is i think they're fed boys <laughs> I think these guys are government actors working on behalf of the government. Green, you know, obviously, you know, green is a very common uh, color that we think of here in the U.S. for, you know, military uh, and those uh, involved in the military. So uh, I definitely get military vibes off of them. Uh, uh, Lady Roid Man over here, she's got th these like energy things coming out of the shoulders of her suit, right? And so, um, I'm almost wondering if those are a part of her or if her suit isn't the thing that kind of gives her her power. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, obviously they can all fly and with all of them being able to fly that wouldn't I mean with this guy over here not having a suit that would say that they have to have some sort of power right um because I mean the dude you know dude bro over here on the left with wearing freaking a jogging suit a green jogging suit doesn't look like he's got the same level of detail and care into his suit at all so getting out of here and going over to the cover C right we can see just a few more things um let's do that well it no it's not gonna mm, it won't zoom in any further than that but basically so we can see that she's using those things and now she doesn't doesn't look like she has the cape on now so i'm assuming that this is later on in a battle um she obviously uses these whips there's some sort of energy whip here um <clears throat> She's using some sort of energy whip here. Um, and Isom looks like he's running away. So I... The, based off of what we're seeing from Isom, just a quick theory, I don't think he can fly. I don't think Isom's power set means he can fly at all, unless Eric July is super keeping his stuff under wraps, which he very well could be. So... Um, I think that the Alpha Core coming after they're going after accepts uh working on behalf of the government because they're trying to make sure that the vigilante justice isn't getting served right that's a very common thing to have in comic book storylines this guy up in the back here though he i i'm just confused i i just don't get a lot from him like he just he's he's got a helmet and obviously you can think of characters like judge dread um 
oh, whatever John Diggle turned into in the era over what is it, Titan, I think, which, um, it, it, whatever. Um, and then other characters that, you know, wear helmets like that. I, I had a few more of them that I, that I was thinking of, but I kind of lost my train of thought there. But basically, <clears throat> I I think that with Isom coming back into the fray and, you know, picking up the uh, the cape and cowl again, as it were, which obviously he doesn't have either of those, um, that's what they're doing. They're making sure that uh, the excepts are getting kind of rounded up and basically put under wraps here. We're seeing a lot of confrontations with superheroes, so I definitely don't think that in this world all excepts are going to be... Uh, uh, friendly towards each other. So that's a, that's a big thing. Um, and yeah, that's really what just my speculation that I have right now. Obviously I think the, uh, the guy with a buzz cut and the girl over here, I think they're an item. I think they're, uh, together. I think they're all military. I think they're in the same, obviously they're in alpha core. Uh, that being said, are there other alpha core members? Is there something behind alpha core? What's the, what is the controlling body of, of the alpha core? You know, where we talk, it could be, um, something similar to, um, oh, what was the agency that Amanda Waller controlled in DC? Now I'm drawing a blank again. Oh, it's been, it's been a long weekend so far, but yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. <clears throat> I definitely think that there's going to be some fed boy shenanigans with these guys and rounding up accepts and trying to exact the law as you know, they think that it needs to be, uh, power sets look pretty simple. I mean, we've got a flying guy. He's pretty roided out. He can probably punch stuff real hard. Uh, this lady, she can fly here and she is using these energy whips. I'm assuming they're going to have some sort of extension. They're probably also going to hurt if they get a hold of you. Uh, looks like they're powered from her suit. So, and then this guy here in the back, my guess is that he's probably wearing that helmet. That helmet's probably got a lot of tech involved in it. That helmet might, uh, that helmet might be just a little bit more than, you know, some sunglasses. That helmet's probably scanning the environment, looking on what's going around it, and uh, going for um, uh, going for more of the oh, the the logistics of the battle. You know the, um, but yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at with. There's just there's not a lot to go on here. You got a couple of pictures they were mentioned. On the website, I had the website pulled up. I was kind of looking at it, but there's really not a lot to go on with the Alpha Core. I do think that the suits of the buzz cut guy and his lady, I think those suits look killer. I don't know what's going on with this dude over here just wearing, like, just, they, they look, it looks like just a basic leather jacket and pants and a black t-shirt. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I ain't got no hate for black t-shirts. My closet's full of them. That's my favorite thing to wear, but... That's really all I've got for this video. So, guys, thank you so much for checking this one out. And let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. If you guys like the channel, like what we're doing here, and like that we're covering all this stuff, uh, let me know. And, hey, maybe subscribe to the channel, man. We just crossed 400 subscribers because of all of the excitement that people have for all this stuff. So, uh, we do cover a little bit more than just the Ripper Burst stuff here. And uh, I, I would like to, you know, do a video tour a week uh, off of the Ripper Burst. I know I'm very excited because uh, one of the videos I'm totally going to do is a is a, uh, a review of the new Dragon Ball Z movie that's getting ready to come out because I'm super excited for that. So, But anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Hit the like button for me if you would, and I will see you guys next time right here on A Drink With Crazy. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.